today, and this is perfect timing because we had a post uh, talking about grams of protein and macro counting and saying, I need this many grams of protein and how do I get that on a vegan diet? Well, we are going to really dive into intuitive eating today. Um, who in here knows what intuitive eating means or has an idea that they want to be able to eat intuitively? Basically meaning that we don't spend so much time and energy thinking about what, when, where, how much we're going to eat, following diet plans, counting macros, seeing how many grams of protein and carbs and sugar we're having every day, writing it down, uh, weighing ourselves every day, having so much energy going into how we eat every day instead of having eat, eating be a, an enjoyable part of our lives, right? And a way that we fuel our bodies and think about it as a way of we take care of ourselves and to be able to really be in tune with our bodies and respect our bodies enough to know that our bodies know best. Our bodies will tell us what we need and everybody's body is unique. So yes, we need very similar micronutrients, uh, but when it comes to the macro balance, that's gonna look very different for different people. There are some endurance athletes that eat an 80-10-10 diet, meaning 80% 80 of, of their calories come from carbohydrate. And that's what they need to fuel their run. We've got weightlifters who do tons of beans. I'm a bean person. I eat so many beans, you guys. I don't eat a whole lot of grains. I really, I have beans for breakfast, um, chickpeas for breakfast, usually most mornings. This morning I had white beans with, um, with broccoli. Uh, so it's, this is about thinking outside the box, thinking outside the realm of diet plans and stopping this constant, let me find the right diet plan. Oh, this one's not right, I'll go for the next diet plan. That one's not right, I'm gonna go for the next one. This one's unsustainable. Oh, this one helped me lose weight, but there's no way I can sustain that. So, oh, here, all the weight's back on, and I'm miserable because I tried so hard, and I worked so hard, and I kicked my own butt at the gym, and yes, I lost the weight, and now it came back. I mean, who who is in, the, in that boat? Because I talk to hundreds of women each year, and have, have helped hundreds of women each year, uh, learn to quit all of that, and to start eating intuitively. And we have a process for doing that. It has a lot to do with our self-empowerment coaching system. Let's get into this intuitive eating thing. Um, who's interested in, in intuitive eating? Who is tired of counting? Yes, Jennifer, I hate counting. You're, in, you're me, yes. <laughs> um, lots of frozen peas, Amy. Yes, I'm a frozen peas girl too. Uh, Trina said, I learned how much I love having overnight chia oats. Also, I love having them as an afternoon snack. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure, Trina. Yes, Tanya's here from Chicago. Welcome. So good to have you, Tanya. I'm glad you're participating in this challenge as well. So I'm going to whip out our eight-week uh, workbook. This is not something that you guys have access to. Um, what I've given you access to in the website for this challenge Every week you get a printout of that week's um, build a meal. So you can look at it, you can download, you can print out. You do not have a workbook. This is for the eight week program. Now I'm gonna look up our, we go through a very structured process in this program. But one, the thing I'm gonna talk about today is our plant empowered intuitive eating model. So anybody else type A? I'm, I'm very type A. I like systems, I like structure. I like to have a, you know, uh, it laid out. I like the visual to really learn. Part of this is going to be about being able to take that pause. You guys know about the power pause yet? We call it the power pause because it is the most life-changing tool that you can make. And it's very simple. It's very simple to do, but it's very difficult to remember to do when you're first learning it. Is that power pause where before you reach for that food, no matter how hungry or exhausted you are, you take a pause. And eventually this becomes just the way you operate. We're talking about changing your operating system. We're changing the way you move through the world and making it more conscious. Making it more conscious so that you can start to reprogram the programs that aren't serving you. Programs, we can also talk about habits, right? We wanna to get to the place when we reprogram our minds to get to that place where the new habits are the healthy habits. The new subconscious programming, the thing we do automatically without thinking about it, without giving it a second thought, like brushing our teeth. We don't give ourselves a choice, I hope. Anybody give themselves a choice? I don't. I hope you don't. Um, about brushing your teeth before we go to bed. 
right? We don't think, don't sit there and like, no, I don't really feel like it. No, should I? No, I don't, nah. No, we brush our teeth. We know that that's necessary. We know that that's good for our health. That's a form of self-care and we do it. So why are we not translating that to the eating in our lives, to the exercise, right? It's possible because we did it when with brushing our teeth. We can do it with anything, but we need the right structure, coaching, and guidance and support. And that's what we do in the eight-week program. That's what we're doing here for you guys um, in this challenge. We just dive a lot deeper and do it a lot more structured in, in the program. So first step is that power pause. If you don't take the pause, you can't go through this process, right? How do you remember to take that pause? It's practice and practice and practice. Now, also to remember, you're not going to always remember at first. But what you can remember to do is at night, every night, journal. And when you journal, you think back during the day, maybe there was a situation where it would have been really helpful to have paused and gone through this process and you forgot. And then you ate something you regretted and then you felt guilty and then you went back, either you said, screw it, I'm gonna just eat like crap the rest of the day, I'll start it fresh tomorrow or Monday or whatever it is. Or you went ahead and was like, oh, I'm not going to eat the rest of the day, right? I'm going to restrict myself. And then you're hungry and miserable in that way too. So either way, it's miserable. So first thing is that pause, right? Second thing is to ask yourself, why am I thinking about food and eating right now? Why am I thinking about food and eating right now? And it seems like a very simple question. But how often do you stop and ask yourself that question before you put something in your mouth? And there are three reasons that we eat. There are three whys. Why number one, appetite, physical desire, and possibly addiction, food addictions. Number two, hunger, a physical need. We need to fuel our bodies. My body needs to be fueled right now. It is lacking energy. Number three, comfort. That's our emotional desire. Oftentimes we do it to numb or distract ourselves. Who in here stress eats? Or eats when you're exhausted or you're bored? Who in here eats for reasons other than the physical need? This is just the beginning of the intuitive eating model. But it's really important for you to understand it. Because until you understand this, we can't take the next steps until you understand the food addictions you have and the reasons you're eating or overeating or eating crap, then we can't get through that and really get in tune with our bodies and trust our bodies to tell us what we need because when we're eating for other reasons, then it doesn't matter what our body's telling us, right? We're, eating, we're not eating what our body's telling us, we're eating what we need to do to numb, distract ourselves from feelings that we don't know how to deal with, that we don't have the tools to deal with that we don't have the self-coaching skills to walk ourselves through. I know most people I speak with want to get to that place where they're a role model. They're aspiring to inspire others. They want to make a difference in this world. But until we heal ourselves, until we get right in here and here, we can't make the biggest impact. You guys each are have something special to offer this world. And we get so wrapped up in this food and it's exhausting. But I want you to know that it doesn't have to be like that. My goal is to help you guys become the best versions of yourself. And I know that's, you know, said a lot, but truly, we need you all to make this world a better place, right? This is a crazy, awful time. So we gotta get, we gotta get through this. We gotta get over this food issue. We gotta stop with the crap. We gotta start loving ourselves, loving others, and eating in the way that's gonna help us help the world. That's it for today, you guys. Um, again, if this interests you, if you want to learn more about the eight week program, we are accepting, um, we are accepting, uh, people right now for that 28th start date. And again, we only work with a handful of people at a time. We work very closely with you. We want to make sure that you are the right fit and that, um, you're going to come out that other side, our next testimonial. Let's do this. You guys have an amazing rest of your day.